G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today I'm going to show you how to build my Osaka Castle. Now, this is a tutorial I said I would not do because the thing is just too big, but I've had so many requests that we are going to get started, but uh, because it's so big, we're going to do this a little bit differently. We won't be doing the entire castle in one go. This will be at least a two-parter, probably a three-parter tutorial. So today we are going to get the base of the castle done and the very first floor, but uh, because it's so big, it's, it's very hard for me to remember how to build it. So we're going to do it kind of like a Lego instruction manual. I've got these built in, in segments here, so we're going to go along and show you bit by bit how to build it. And I've numbered all of these, so you'll be able to remember where you are in the tutorial. And there'll also be a world download for this in the video description if you want to grab that. Okay, for step number one, you want to mark out your area, but you're going to build the castle in just to make sure you have enough room. So the gold blocks uh, is where you're going to be marking out your area. And I recommend using a block like netherrack or dirt, something you can instamine because we'll eventually be ripping out all these blocks. So start off with the big square right here and it is 53 blocks long on every single side and inside of that square we have another one that is 29 blocks long on each side and the gap between the two squares is 11 blocks long. So just go ahead and put in those two squares and then we're going to do a rectangle out toward the front of the building. So what you do is at the front come in five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five and then that's where you start your rectangle. It's exactly the same on that side and this rectangle comes out 19 blocks. So there is a 19 diamond block gap there before we reach the end of our rectangle. So get that in with netherrack or dirt and make sure you've got all your dimensions correct. Double and triple check. Okay, for step number two, we're going to start replacing some of those gold blocks. So begin with our two big squares. We're going to replace all those blocks with stairs. And it's going to be mostly stone brick stairs with the occasional polished andesite stair mixed in. Now the big square, all the stairs are facing in that direction, but for the smaller square, the stairs are facing in the opposite direction. Now for the rectangle out the front, this is a little bit trickier. What you want to do is come over to this side and just inside these gold blocks, we're going to build out with stone bricks until there is a one, two, three, four block gap between the end of the stone bricks and our gold blocks. Then you can grab some slabs and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across like that. And where that ends, we're going to put a line of stone bricks. And this is stone bricks mixed with stone and andesite. So just build that all the way to the stairs. And then you can go ahead and replace all your gold blocks with the stone bricks. Okay, step number three, you can break those gold blocks there. You wouldn't have been using gold blocks, but you can get rid of them. And then just inside here, just put down a stone floor, replace all the dirt with stone and throw down some sea lanterns in the floor so you're not going to get any beasties spawning. And then what I like to do is right in the middle here, just dig out a couple of doorways so you've got easy access you can put another little doorway in here. So if you're building a base, like an actual base in the base of your castle, you've got plenty of room down here. Now for the gap between the two squares, what I like to do is just mix in some sea lens and stone along the walls just inside of our stairs. And that provides enough light for this area. And then you can just replace the ground with stone. For the ground inside our smaller square, I've replaced all the blocks with these smithing tables. Now, I like them, but it's probably not a good idea. They are expensive, and in later versions of Minecraft, they will probably cause lag. So if you want to, use the smithing tables, but otherwise you can just put stone down here. 
And to light up the area, you can just put a, a block under here. So I've got some sea lens with, I've got a bit of gray carpet on top of that. And then you can just leave five block gaps and place another light in each direction. Okay, we're also going to build these four pillars. And each of these are three blocks in from the wall in each corner. So you can count one, two, three, and that's where you build your pillar. And it is three blocks by three blocks wide. So I've just used stripped acacia wood. The acacia wood on the sides, in the corners, just goes straight up. And then in the middle, I've alternated the direction of it just to give a nice little pattern. So three of them are 19 blocks tall. But this one over here is going to be a little bit shorter. So we are looking from the front here. So this one is going to be 11 blocks tall. But then at the back, we're going to add six blocks that make it up to 12 blocks tall. So we're just leaving out those three right there. And at the bases of each of these, you can pop in an acacia fence with a lantern on top. Okay, step number four. It looks like we've done a ton here, and we have. This will take you a very long time to do, but uh, it is fairly simple. So we're going to put up the main walls around our two big squares. So this is the pattern we are using. I've marked it here with the diamond blocks. So we've got our stair at the bottom. We're going to go one block with a stair on top, two blocks, stair on top, four blocks with a stair, and then five blocks with a stair, and three in the middle to join them. So when you're building it, you probably want to pause the video right here. So we're going to do that on the inside as well, so it all eventually meets up in the middle. And once again, just like uh, the wall we were using out there, it's just about half and half stone and stone bricks with a scattering of andesite. And then the stairs are all stone brick stairs with a scattering of polished andesite stairs. And once you've built that big, big wall on the inside, I want you to come over to where our slabs were right here. We're going to add eight more levels of slabs. So we've got a nice little staircase. So there's nine in total. And then once you've done that, just build up this wall on the side. So we've got two blocks. Then we come up for another two, two, two and finish half a slab above those stairs. So you can just go ahead and build that. And once you put those stairs in, we're gonna build up the little wall around our rectangle. And once again, I've marked how we're gonna do that here. So we've just got, we've already got our one block down the bottom. We're gonna add another block with the stair on top, two blocks, then a stair, and then three blocks. And once again, it's just half and half stone and stone bricks with polished andesite scattered in. And just make sure where the wall connects here that you get your stairs twisting around like that. And then we are not going to build it all the way around. When you get to this side where your stairs are, the first two sections, you can build that all the way to the wall. But you want to stop this top section here where the stairs are and those last three blocks. You want to stop that directly in line with our top slab. And the very last step is to put this floor in here, which will be the ceiling for our bottom room. So we're just using stone half slabs and you want to start placing them at this level right here. So build that all the way along. So you've got a one, two, three block gap to the top of the wall. And then you can just leave out this tiny little section here at the front. And the last thing to do on step number four is come along to the top of our little platform we just built. And using stone, starting right here, we're going to build all the way across to the end. And then we're just going to fill in this entire area. So we're raising this side of our platform up by one block. Okay, step number five. Come along to our stairs. And at the very top of the stairs, we're just going to put in another little half slab platform just to fill in that area there. So you've got this one block gap before our platform. Then turn the corner and we're going to put in three more stairs and these are eight slabs wide and they should cover up that little gap we had just in the platform right there. Now turn around and just where these stairs finish we're going to start placing slabs on top of our little raised platform. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and where that finishes we are going to build a two block wall 
all the way to the edge of our wall there. And you can decorate the top blocks because they will be visible, but the bottom ones won't be. And then just continue building that all the way to the end so we've got another little raised platform. And once you've done that, we're going to cut a hole for our doorway in right there. So this will be one, two, three, four blocks from the very edge of our wall here. And that's where our doorway starts. And the doorway is going to be seven blocks wide. And it should be directly in line with that pillar right there. So you can leave these blocks in the bottom and the blocks on the other side. And then just, just in here, one block below those blocks, we're going to put in another half slab platform. Okay, step number six, come back around to this side right here. So we come up our three stairs and over to this wall. Now before this wall was only two blocks tall, now we are going to add an extra two blocks on top of that. So it's four blocks tall. And we're going to extend it a little bit. So before it only came out to right there, we're going to bring it out two more blocks and then turn it into a little square just like that. And once you've done that, let me get rid of those. So that's what it's going to look like right there, guys. So that's three blocks tall, that square. Once you've done that from the corner of our square, we're going to grab some half slabs. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they are just on top of that raised up platform. At the end of that nine, we are going to build another wall in this shape right here. So come out one, two, three blocks. And then all the way to the end, this is three blocks tall. And then this section is going to be one block higher than our previous bit of wall. And I know some of this could be fairly hard to follow. That's why I'm flying around a bit so you can get a good look at it and just sort of copy it from the screen. But if you don't get the dimensions exactly right in this bit, it, it doesn't actually matter. This is just the entrance to our castle and you can really do whatever you want. Okay, next I want you to grab some of these stone brick slabs and come along to our stairs at the bottom. We're going to place one there, one there, another there, and another there. So it's coming up half a slab at a time. And when you get to the top, starting right here, we're just going to put a line of those half slabs all the way along. Now we're sort of going to mirror that over here. So I want you to break that stair there. And we'll probably have to break a few. We're going to go... Just like that, so the slabs come up half a slab above our stairs, another half a slab up, and just keep placing them up all the way along here until we get to our final one. So I break that stair there too, and like that. So once you've done those, you can also come over to these three stairs right here and just knock out those two. Put two slabs there and one, two, three right there. So these ones are at the same height as our slabs. And once you've done that, come around to our doorway. We've cut in the door right here. And we're going to put a floor on top of that half slab floor that uh, we put in earlier. So this is mostly stone with a few stone bricks mixed in. We've also got andesite, polished andesite, and some jack-o'-lanterns with light grey carpet on top just to stop the beasties spawning. Now just inside our doorway, we want to put a spruce door right here with an upside down stair on top. Now previously, this little bit of wall looked like this. You had two blocks with, uh, with the stairs on top. So you need to break all of them and then fill in that little bit of wall right there just to make a gap for your door. And then you can also build this out one block further just like so. So I will pause the video. We'll pause the video somewhere around here and just copy that. And make sure you've got one of these jack o' lanterns very close to the door so the light will shine through and keep these blocks lit up so you don't get any beasties spawn. Okay, so the last thing to do in this step is we're going to fill in the rest of the floors just like that section here. So we've got one big half slab floor here, a huge one right here, and then a third and then a fourth all the way down here. So the way I do it is I place my jack-o'-lanterns first, just randomly, just mix them all up, and then we'll put our light grey carpet on top, then just throw in a few polished andesite blocks, a few of the andesite blocks, then just mix in a bunch of stone. You want a fair bit of this, 
And once that's done, I just run around with my plain stone and fill in the rest. Just make sure when you're placing these, you don't put any jack-o'-lanterns on the edges right here near our stairs because you will be able to see them. So we'll just finish this off and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go, just like that completely randomly and you can run back through and adjust a few bits if you don't like them. So go ahead and do that in this section here, this one and this one. Okay, step number seven, you should have all your stairs in place and you should now be able to walk up all the stairs here onto every single level. So now we are going to build a little tent-like structure. So we're going to begin with dark oak wood, the one with the rounded bark ending on it. So you can start in the corner right here, place your first one right there, skip two blocks, place another, and in this direction we're going to skip three blocks before we place another. So we've got a nice little rectangle. Then grab some dark oak trapdoors, we're going to place two on that side, and two on that side, flip them up, and three across the front. Now grab some prismarine stairs and we're going to place two right here and mix in the two different kinds of prismarine. So those stairs are facing in that direction and these are facing in that direction. So we're just putting them on top of two dark oak fences and then we are going to connect the stairs like so. Same on this side, so we've got five in total. Now just coming down from them, we are going to put in some prismarine slabs and we're just going to put five across here. And the same on this side, we're going to put five right here. And I might just grab another slab so we can mix these up as we are placing them. And finally, we're going to put two dark oak fences on that side. Over here, two dark oak fences, whoops, right there. And on top of those, we're going to place more stairs. So we're going to put five across the top right here. Might just mix in a few more of these stairs. And on this side, another five like so. Okay, so now we're going to build a great big staircase going up to our castle. And just make sure you are building these stairs in the correct position. So if we place a block here directly in line with the, the wall of our castle, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that is where our first stair begins. So our stairs, we are using the slabs again. These are going to be five blocks wide, and you're going to have 22 of these levels going all the way to the top. And then just on the edges, we're using the stripped spruce logs, the stripped spruce wood, I think, the one with the bark ending, and just place them against the slabs like so. So they're going to go up in levels of two, just like that. And underneath where we've got this pillar, you can just add a couple of extra slabs so that connects. So do the stripped spruce wood all the way up until the very last four right here. And right here, we're just going to place a temporary block there and put a stripped spruce wood from that direction. Break that. And we're going to put a log here, the one with the the cut ending on it, and we'll do the same on this side. Temporary block, the one with the bark end, break that, and the log end. Now up the top here, let's place a temporary block against the end, a log on the side there, break that. We're going to come out one past our stair, same on this side, one past our stair, and then we're going to put two logs like that, and two on that side. And then the final thing to do is just to build a little staircase coming down where our door is right here. So you can do this however you like, but I'm starting a three block wide staircase right next to our pillar right there. You'll have to knock out one of those lanterns. Just coming all the way up to the top here, we've got a little three by three space with the lights and no beasties spawn. Then we turn the corner and a few more stairs coming up here. And then you can just grab your stone and just fill in this entire area underneath. Okay, step number eight. The very first thing we'll do is I'll go down here and I'll show you the staircase all filled in. So that's just all solid blocks in there now. And that's what it looks like. And now back around the front, we're going to start on our gate. So just two blocks in from the edge of our wall. We're going to place a gold block 
and then one, two, three, four, five coal blocks on top of that. You can use black wool if you don't have much coal. So five coal blocks and then another gold block on top. And you can run the coal across there to connect them with one in the middle and two dark oak fences on each side. And then on the inside of our gate, right against our gold blocks, we're going to build a pillar of stone up that is 10 blocks tall and just do that on each side. And then we're going to grab our stripped spruce logs and starting right here on each side, we're going to build that all the way along until it connects to our logs that we had right up here. And then what you have to do, a long boring task, is one block back from these stripped spruce logs, just fill in the walls on each side, just using half and half stone and stone bricks and mixing in the, uh, the andesite blocks and you can fill in our little doorway right there. And then finally just finish with a bunch of end rods so we don't get any beasties spawning on our stairs. And staying on the inside, we're going to do some building. So come along up here, I'm going to put a stone brick in each of those corners with a spruce fence underneath, and we can hang two lanterns from those. Now grab some quartz stairs, and these are the smooth ones. We're going to put five upside down right there against our coal blocks. And then right in the middle, we're going to put a chiseled quartz and two smooth quartz on each side and then we'll just do a smooth quartz stair on top Sw switch to stone brick stairs we're going to put two right there and then two upside down ones right next to that then you can put a stone block on each side three stone brick blocks like so then grab some stone brick stairs and we're going to run five across the top just connecting those two blocks above our lanterns. And come back around to the outside of our gate and we're going to place a chiseled quartz block on top of each of those gold blocks. And then we're going to knock out those two blocks there and place another chiseled quartz right next to it and the same on this side. And then using our smooth stairs again, we're going to place five upside down just in between those. Now right in the middle, against that, the top of that middle stair, we're going to place a smooth quartz slab. Now face from this direction, I'm going to place upside down stairs. So one, two, three, four from that side, and one, two, three, four from that side. And once again, these are the smooth stairs. Okay, so on top of the upside down stairs in each corner, we're going to place a smooth quartz. And then we're going to do a pattern like this. We're going to put two more on top and then one out to the front and the same on that side. Now you can grab some stone and we're just going to place a line of them across the top of those stairs. We're never going to see this. So we're just filling in the gap and you can do this as well. Just fill in this area with our stone because you're not going to see it. Now grab some smooth quartz slabs and we're going to run a line of them across just like that and behind those slabs. Once again with stone we're just filling in this area that we are never going to see. Okay so grab your smooth stairs again and from this side we're going to put an upside down stair right there and then another upside down one facing in the opposite direction and we'll do the same on this side so right on the end upside down stair and another one right there and then we're going to cover this stone with upside down stairs just like that now i want you to grab a temporary block and against this slab right in the middle we're going to put two blocks out like that break that one and then place another smooth quartz against the top half of that block and you can break it and grab your smooth quartz stairs again and facing from this direction we're going to do upside down one two three four and the same thing on this side one two three and four and this is actually my favorite part of the entire castle just this doorway i took a lot of time making this look very very similar to the actual doorway of the osaka castle so this is very authentic so now I want you to grab your prismarine slabs and we're just going to run a line of them across the top half of those stairs at the front right there and behind them 
we are going to do another line of them just half a slab higher and then when you get to the end come out an extra one and then one to the front seam on this side so you should be looking like that now behind this just place two slabs or a full block right there next to that quartz block and then a slab out to the side and we'll do the same on this side so two right there slab out to the side so we're coming up a little bit and then you can just run your slabs all the way across the top and then we're just going to do one more level of those so right in here you can fill in this gap with stone because we're not going to see it and then just slabs all the way along just like this and that is your doorway complete all that is except for mixing in the different colored slabs you want to add a little bit of variety in here okay step number nine we're going to begin building the actual castle so all the way around here just one block in from our stairs i want you to add a double layer of snow all the way around the outside and then what we have to do is knock out blocks and make these these little window type things so it's just missing the snow block we've got an iron trapdoor up there with a bit of black wool behind and then you can just fill in the two layers behind that with snow so i'm not sure the easiest way to tell you how to build this but uh, what i've done is i've rigged up some numbers right here so this 222 on the sign what that means is whoops and i've just broken my sign two snow blocks comma two snow gap two snow just like that so let's replace this sign so this is my little way of signaling that two slash two slash two so that's how many snow blocks you place so if that makes sense to you then on this side of our front gate this is the number you want to follow. So 2111321222. So that is 2 snow, 111321. One, one, you get the idea, I imagine. If you can't follow that, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, just pause the video here and copy that. So that is the front wall. Swing around to the right wall here and that is what it looks like and you can pause the video here on the number combination if you want to just pause that and build the thing and this number combination here is exactly the same on the opposite side over there and then for the back wall this is what it looks like guys and if you want to follow the numbers there they are okay so once you've done all of those on each side we're going to start putting in a bit of a framework for the floor of our castle so you can just begin with a double layer of stripped spruce logs all the way around the outside so these are directly above our stairs on the inside here so just run them all the way around and once you've done that come over to the back wall and what we're going to do is we're going to skip one two three four blocks and then on the fifth one put a beam all the way to the other end and then skip one two three four five and put another beam in all the way to the end and so once you've done those come along to the sides of our big staircase here and starting right here next to our stone we're just going to run another beam all the way along here using our stripped spruce logs and keep going until we connect to this first beam right here and do the exact same thing on this side as well and then underneath here we've got this log ending just continue that all the way to the end till it connects to that beam as well so that is the final step for step number nine well folks we have so many steps left to go i've done a lot of preparation but this video is already 30 minutes long so we might leave it here at the beginning of step number 10 and we will continue in another episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'm Cortez Reno. I'll see you later.